hello guys welcome to episode number five in this video we will see how we can upload files using screenflow also we will see how we can attach the uploaded files into notes and attachments and in the same time we will see how we can call a subflow using the parent flow using the screen flow so to achieve all this uh, let's create a scenario whether I will gonna create a new screen flow which will taking input from the user and creates a contact record so once and also in the in the same I will gonna ask a user whether he or she wants to create uh, upload a file or not if they select yes they have to upload a file then we will upload that file and then we will attach those file into contact record and also once user has uploaded any file then we will call a subflow to create a task so we will only call subflow once user made a decision to upload a file so I hope the requirement is clear so uh, I'm gonna repeat it again so I'm gonna create a screen flow which is taking input from the user to create a contact record and also will ask from the user whether they have a file to upload or not if yes then we will upload the file into contact record which is notes and attachments and uh, once the file has been uploaded then only we will create a sub we will create a task for the contact and the task will be created from the subflow not from the parent flow so let's see how we can achieve this so for the first step I'm going to create a screen flow one second yeah click new okay I think I have something yeah new auto layout then a screen it's a very simple screen contact details and we will just taking one input field which is last name of contact and we'll mark it as require so in the same time I use a toggle box this toggle box will ask from the user do you have any files to upload and then question mark so the API name we can say is attachment available not question mark okay and uh, that's it so the screen is ready now we will gonna create the contact record first contact object as contact and we have only one field and the value is coming from the screen input and once now here is a trick once the contact record is created we need to store the created record ID somewhere so that we can use that ID and then we can upload the files and associate that file to the contact record so to achieve this there is a very there is a checkbox manually assign variables we need to select we need to create a new resource of type variable and let's say contact ID and the data type should be text and it should not allow multiple values and click on done so now whenever the contact record is getting created the ID will be stored into this variable that's clear now my screen is ready my contact record is getting created now I need to check whether I, I need to check the decision whether the user has attachments or not so if is attachment available dot value becomes true that means the user has marked the toggle as yes they have a file to upload and then we will gonna upload the file so I'm just giving check if user has files to upload file exist click on done so if the file exists we will select another screen and we will ask user to upload a file so to upload a file we will gonna use this component 
in this component we're gonna use name uh, API name is file API file upload label is file and here we need to remember one thing so now we we need to upload this file and then we on or at the same time we need to associate this file to the contact record so here you have a related record ID so in the related record ID you need to assign you need to basically provide the contact currently created contact so once you provide so it will automatically insert it into the database and then it will automatically attach to that contact record so click on done okay so we have to provide the screen name file screen details save so now my flow is ready so I'm just save this flow screen flow so okay so I have another uh, requirement uh, as I said in the beginning once the file has been uploaded then only I have to create a task but that task should be created from another flow so for that I need to create another flow so let's go back to flow and I have already created that flow because there is a very simple flow if you see create task record so what this flow gonna do it will simply start and then it will simply create the task so I'm just still trying to explain you so I have just a uh, creating a single task record uh, based on uh, the some assignments where we have activity date status subject and who ID who ID is nothing just a uh, ID whether the contact ID whether we need to provide a ID whom the task needs to be associated with so here I am providing my contact ID and from where the contact ID value is coming so here I have created a resource if I edit this I have created a resource which is contact ID available for input so from the parent flow we will pass this contact ID to this child flow so once the contact ID has been passed it will create a task and then it will associate it with the contact ID so I hope it's clear let's go back to our parent flow now once my file screen once my file has been uploaded I need to create I need to call a child flow which is subflow to call a subflow select subflow and then search for the flow so my flow is create task record if you see we have an input variable so we need to pass this otherwise the task will gonna create it and then it will not associate it to the contact record so to include this just click include and then we need to pass our contact I think this is not the right variable yeah we need to pass our contact ID and the label is call subflow and then click on done so if I repeat this flow the flow starts the flow will ask the the flow will ask from the user the last name and do you have any files to upload so once users has entered the details the contact record has been created and then it will check whether the user has a file to upload or not if user has no files to upload the flow will gets terminated if the user has the files to upload the flow will ask for the files and the flow will attach the files to the contact record and then the flow will call a subflow to create a task record so let's see I'm gonna save this flow and simply I'm gonna debug Run. so if I enter last name as test last name without attachments without files and I'm not going to uh, active this and click on next see so the flow terminates the flow ends and it it, it should create a contact record but it doesn't ask me for the file so if we verify whether the contact has been created or not see the contact has been created test last name without files now I'm going to run this flow again test contact with files and I this time I must have a file to upload so if I click next see okay it gives me some error just give me a minute 
accepted this this Nothing is fine. Let me debug again. Test contact with files. Okay, let me delete this and I'll drag it again. file upload file okay upload file accepted formats allow multiple values disabled false text related record id is contact id and then done I'll save and let's debug again. Test last name with files. Click on next. Yeah, so there might be some error, uh, but not sure. So now I'm going to upload a file. Yeah. And the file has been uploaded. As you can see, just click on done and then click on next. So now my flow is finished and you see it executes a subflow and let's verify the record. Yeah, so the record has been created and if you see the files also attached to the nodes and attachments and if you see there is a task which is getting created. So I have created the task and I have added the subject. Please look into the attachments and I have provided the due date is 31st of December. So with this, we have achieved all of our three points. We have uploaded file using ScreenFlow. We have attached the file in nodes and attachments. And then we call a subflow to create a task based on the condition. So thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.